G7 Summit 2023, Prime Minister Modi meets Vladimir Zelensky, the first meet since Russian war began. These are the visuals that we're getting for you of the extremely crucial meet between Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky and Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi. In fact, in these visuals, you can also see NSA um, Ajit Doval present. So this is, of course, an extremely crucial meet. Also because of the fact that this is a meet that we are seeing first meet since the Russian war began. We will, of course, have to keep a close as to what were the discussions in terms of uh, this particular meet. My colleague Shinjoy joins me live on the broadcast over the phone line. Shinjoy, good afternoon. Clearly, these uh, pictures and visuals that we're seeing of Prime Minister Modi meeting Zelensky is extremely crucial. How do you read into this? What do you believe will be the larger message of this meet? Well, Prime Minister Modi has made this very clear that the war has to end. And the war has to end quickly and there should be dialogue. But there are several things that could result out of this meeting. We expect uh, Prime Minister uh, uh, Modi to be invited to Kiev. Uh, that is something uh, we think, uh, we know that President Zelensky will be uh, telling um, Prime Minister Modi, please come to Kiev. He will be inviting Prime Minister to Kiev. That's one. We also know that... Uh, Everything is being done to ensure a very senior Indian diplomat also visits Kiev uh, perhaps next month. It could be a secretary-level officer. That is the second thing. We also know that President Zelensky is likely to thank Prime Minister Modi for all the humanitarian assistance that has been given. But naturally, the war is the main issue. And as far as the war is concerned, India's position is very clear. The war has to end. It has to end quickly. And there should be talks. There has to be diplomatic dialogue. And that's the only way you can live in the 21st century. That would probably be the prime minister's message. But these are the three other issues that could well happen. Shindra, just a quick follow-up question as you speak about that message. It's not the first time that Prime Minister Modi has uh, spoken about that because the last time he met Putin, he said, now is not an era of war, which of course resonated with world leaders. So do you believe there's going to be a larger message as well this time around? Yes, undoubtedly. Prime Minister Modi is making it very clear that as far as the war is concerned, it has to end. And in whatever way the war has to end, and after that, there has to be dialogue, there has to be diplomatic dialogue, there has to be talks. That is the basic message of India. That is the basic message of Prime Minister Modi. Besides that, of course, as I said, uh, he will be invited to Kiev. A uh, senior diplomat will, is likely to go next month. Uh, Prime Minister will be thanked for all the, uh, the uh, humanitarian assistance and so on. All that is definitely there. But the Indian position is simply the fact that the war has to end and it has to end as soon as possible.